There is a woman who's called Sandra. You were married to a man called Loazi from Swaziland. I need to pray for you. You come, yes. Come, come, come. Yes, come. Take your belonging. Bishop, pray for her. Pray for her. Because I see this woman, when she got married, she was meant to sleep on a certain cloth that I gave her as a ritual for the wedding. When she got married, please confirm that with her. I see it's like something that she had to be sleeping on. But she broke that. She's confirming, Pastor, she's Sandra. And her husband is the name the father has called. I say that uh, when you got married, I see they gave you like a red cloth that you had to sleep on. Is that correct? Yes, Daddy. So what did you do? Were you sleeping on that or you bought another one? No, on my first days, we were sleeping on it. The time I refused to sleep on it, we starting, starting fighting and we divorced. You divorced because you refused to start sleeping on, on what they gave you the day you got married? Yes, Daddy. To Loazi. Mm. Ah. Ritual. Now your health is affected. I see sometimes you have palpitations, sometimes your legs have problems. Yes, is that, Daddy. Is that correct? Yes, Daddy. And your husband say if you cannot live according to the demand of my ancestors, I can't stay married to you. And he left you. Yes, Daddy. Okay. Now, today, God is changing your story. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's a power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What do you do? What I'm do a teller. Sorry? I'm a teller. You are a teller? Yeah. Like a tailor making clothes. Yes, daddy. You make clothes for yourself, for others? For customers, like wedding. For like wedding. Uh, uh, traditional weddings. So now hear this. This is a good, beautiful bride that got married, but the demand was that she may sleep on a kind of red sheet given for the ritual. She did it and felt uncomfortable. After a while, she stopped doing it. Her husband said, mm -mm, I'm going. She's a teller. Mm. If you have a wedding, that's what she does. Glory She'll put Jesus. up a dress for you. You do only women dress? Yeah, women and men, both. Take the measurement of the guy that has a microphone. <laughs> hey! Yes. Hallelujah! My Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Say, Mr. Mr. Drama. <laughs> so, do you have a shop or you do it from home? No, I have a shop in town, a small shop in town. So you are a business owner? Yes, sir. Do you come to church here or is it the first time? No, it's not the first time. It's not the first time? Yes, sir. But today you're getting, my daughter, you're getting the kind of deliverance Hallelujah. that only God can give. We stretch our hands to Sandra. Jesus. Sandra, I bless your life. Receive the blessing, I Sandra. bless you. You will succeed. Thank you, Jesus. You will prosper. God is turning your story. Your health is well. Amen. In Jesus' name. The oppression caused by that curse, that ritual, mm -hmm. when it was broken, that already that was an evil mm -hmm. thing to do. And when it was broken, the enemy stood against you again. Mm -hmm. But the Lord has served today, setting you free. Hallelujah. From where you are, the power of God is reaching you. Free the bigots! In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Free! Jesus name. As a free in the name of Jesus freedom free in Jesus name. be free in the name of Jesus and testify the goodness Hallelujah. of God in Jesus Somebody name Somebody give him praise
If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elf Lukau.